two, three. Now you can start. Yes. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Singapore and uh, I'm an equity analyst. Um, but my investment process is a little bit different from um, your traditional fundamental equity analyst. I am a bottom-up quant. I think uh, the street will call it the quantumental um, um, basis. So essentially, I'm getting a lot of data from um, fundamental sources. Like, um, for example, if I'm looking at EVs, then I'll go into weekly data, weekly delivery data. If I'm looking at shipbuilding, then I'll go into uh, monthly order books. So um, this requires a lot of data crunching and um, it has done very well for me for, um, for my workplace as well. And um, <clears throat> that's, that's my role by day and by night, I use the same process to, to look for um, investment ideas for my own personal portfolio. Um, also using the same process, but in the US markets and um, it, has, it has yielded considerable um, alpha for myself. So um, I've heard about this from um, an ex-colleague of mine. Um, he was in the derivatives team. And, um, you know, I wanted to brush up on my Python skills. And uh, it's been, it's been a, quite a while since I used Python. Um, before I was in the buy side, I was in the sell side. And in the sell side, I was a quant analyst. But we mainly use R, um, VBA as a, as, as a mode of um, um, processing our data. So I think Python is something that is um, fairly uh, straightforward and uh, fairly powerful. So, and it's also well used across uh, the industry. So I wanted to, to take this opportunity to, you know, kind of brush up my skills and perhaps, you know, streamline uh, my process within this um, infrastructure as well. Um, yeah, so far, I think this, this course is, is pretty good. I've got a fair, you know, fair sense of um, um, Python basics before. And then, so I think uh, Sunil has has touched a, a fairly a fairly broad uh, base on on what is necessary, um, and it prepares us for um the various packages like uh, NumPy, pandas, data frames, especially especially data frames, um, and and also time date time, right? So these are I think are very helpful, and and once I catch the basics of the syntax, I it's essentially plug and play. Um, and I can immediately use this for for some of my back testing and some of my um some of my processes on a day to day basis already. Great. And someone recommended you this program, or like you found it on the internet, right? Uh, yeah, someone recommended to me this program. Okay. He's actually a quant before as well. Okay. Um, uh, he was my ex colleague in the derivatives team, and okay. uh, so yeah, so I think he is in the previous batch so he's probably yep. i think uh five or six lessons ahead of five or six weeks ahead of of us okay um i thought it was i saw the curriculum i thought it was pretty good uh, had a chat with you before you know yes. uh, signing up for this thought that it was uh worthwhile and yeah here i am perfect and do you have any feedback for us that something that we can build on something we can make better yeah okay sure i mean as with any class that you know you've, you've got people who are a bit more advanced you know we've got okay. classmates in from hedge funds we've got classmates that have very little interactions or, or mm. exposure with with the financial markets so yeah, i i understand that it's fairly difficult to um balance um you know your attention with such a such a spectrum of 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 experience right yep. so uh, if i had to have a wish list um i would you know um think about having some challenging problems to be set okay. yeah perhaps as an assignment a solo assignment basis or a collaborative okay. assignment basis depending on how people want to work on this okay. um because I, i've i've done all the um so after class i spent about an hour or so just doing you know to review the the, the, the material and and doing all all the the, the exercises and uh um, mm -hmm. it feels like something's still missing because uh, okay. I don't know why I don't know. And uh, I'm, I'm quite afraid that I'm not getting the full essence of it. And, uh, okay. and yeah, sometimes use cases, challenging mm -hmm. use cases would be very helpful in our own time. Um, Makes sense. That would help. Yeah. Mm. Great. So we'll surely work on your feedback. We take this feedback more often, okay, as you are in the beginning of the course, when you get into the med and in the end too, so that the team is also motivated, we can deliver you more. 
Okay. So thank you so much for okay. your valuable feedback. We'll definitely build on it.